Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video and welcome to all those new subscribers. I hope you enjoy my yarn adventures and you stick with us throughout the year. And welcome back to all those loyal subscribers who've been with me for a very long time. So today's video, well, 2023 seems to be the year of the hashtag make along. In my week off, I got to watch a few videos and all these make-alongs with special hashtags kept coming up. And there's quite a few and even some I have probably missed. I am back at work now, but I thought I'd share with you some of the ones I'm going to do and ask if there's anything that you're a favourite. So let's get started. Well, of course, I kicked off my six-month make-along yarn vacation au or i did get a laugh today when mad mimi laura said snake vacation and that's because a lot of people are making the boa snake i am for me i think it's in this bag <laughs> i've made trev the traveling snake our first stop this was my hometown and we flew to the uk and we visited lancashire now my accent may have got in the way for some people and their broomsticks took them to another part of the UK. But never mind, near enough is good enough. And I decided I would do red for the rose and I would do a bit of green for the countryside. So that's what I have done on Trev, my traveling snake. I also decided I would do a temperature snake, which I have started, but it's not really worth showing you at the moment. Um, I'm a little over making blankets and lapgans and I thought, oh, it could be handy to do two snakes. So there you have it. Hashtag yarn vacation. Now, make sure I will put all the links to the make-alongs and hashtags in the description below and any patterns that I use that you might be interested in. So if you want to check them out, feel free at the end of this video. So that's the first one. It's my make along. It runs for six months. And yes, with mine, there's a patent participant prize every month and an end of make along prize. So I have to refer to my notes. The next one is Whip Be Gone 2023. And this is being hosted by Recreational Knitting. It starts on January the 1st and it runs until February the 28th. You must be, you must be um, completing an unfinished whip from 2022 and you complete it in that time frame. Have it finished by February 28, 2023. Now this make along, everything will be done through Ravelry and her YouTube channel. I have two whips I'd like to get finished for Whip Be Gone with Recreational Knitting. First of all, in this bag, for those who've been with me for a while, will remember I'm supposed to be doing socks and I would like to finish these socks. So that's one I have decided I will try and complete. And in here, and I've been doing it for quite a while because it's quite involved, is the Stephen West project. I'm not going to show you the whip, but that's it there. And I'm hoping to get that finished by 28th, uh, February the 28th. With some dedication and hard work I could. Knitting is a little slower than crochet, but they're my two whips for whip be gone. Hashtag whip be gone. So that's our second hashtag. Next is MM Starflake. Hashtag MM Starflake. This is hosted by um, Mouse's Makes, Amanda Jane. And she is doing from the 1st of January to the 28th of February, you knit the Stephen West Starflake shawl. This is a paid for pattern. I can't remember. It's roughly $10 Australian. And as I said, from the 1st of January until the 28th of February, it doesn't have to be finished. Um, you post photos. Um, look, I have yarn in this bag and the pattern I have set aside. I'm not going to show you the whip. Because whenever I show you a complicated knitting whip, it starts going wrong. But that's my yarn choices for that project. And I may post pictures through Ravelry 
as I get more confident that it's starting to look like the pattern. This is Morrison Sun uh, Four Ply, 100% Australian Superfine Merino. It's really soft. Um, I can tell you now, it does split a little bit if you're not careful, but it is a lovely yarn. And um, this color is called Columbine, and this color is called Lux. So they will be my two colors. And yes, I do have enough yarn of this in my yarn stock. So I went and shopped in my yarn stock. And I have started it. And looking at someone else's, I'm very slow. I doubt I'll get it finished. But I must admit, it is a challenge. And it is testing my limits and, excuse me, hiccups. They say it's a nervous reaction to videotaping. So this project is living in my polar bear bag. And yes, we will see how I go. But M, um, hashtag MM um, Starflake with um, Mouse's Mates, Amanda Jane Davis. So that's another hashtag. So then hashtag test your limits with Alex from My Yarny Corner. And I'm going to double dip because if I do this, it is testing my limits as a knitter. Um, there's a brioche section and I'm not sure I'll be able to cope with that. But test my limits, my yarny corner, Alex in the UK, from January the 1st. Now, this is really remiss of me because I can't remember if it goes to the end of June or end of July. But make sure you check out the video links for all these hashtag make-alongs. Um, testing your limits, limits, it's about trying something you've never tried before improving your skills, a more complicated pattern that you've never done before, or a new craft. Uh, it can be crochet, knitting, sewing, anything that tests your craft skills. Now for me, Reeves and um, Thing went and got my sewing cabinet out of storage. We did a bit of a clean up after the Christmas break and they both said, your sewing cabinet would fit there and you've been wanting to sew for a while. Now, all I can do is sew straight lines. And I just used to do hems and maybe take things up for the boys, but that was it. And make track suits when they were a lot younger. I could make track suits because they're fairly easy. But there have been some sewing patterns I have seen in tutorials where I'd like to try some things. So maybe for me, testing my limits will be sewing after like 23 years and making something new, along with my Stephen West shawl. So hashtag test your limits with Alex from My Yarning Corner. That's the UK covered. Um, recreational Knitting is USA, Manda Makes is UK, Alex is um, UK. The next is probably one of my favorites, Amagurumi Wars 2023, hosted by YOH Crochet. Anita, I love this. I don't participate every month when I get busy, but I love the fact that this is on and it really has improved my amigurumi skills. Now, Anita is hosting January. Each month is hosted by a different content creator and I'll be hosting May, which is awesome. So the way it works is you make items and you get points on whether it's a free pattern, a paid for pattern, or this year, a featured designer pattern. You must check out Anita's video so you understand how it works. And yes, it is fun. If you want to make amigurumi. Um, what else have I got? Da -da -da -da. So that's Amigurumi Wars 2023. Now, this is where I'm going to triple dip into some make-along challenges. Now, at the end of last year, I said, no, nah, I did far too many cows and make-alongs. I'm not gonna do it as many this year. Famous last words. I'm gonna triple dip this challenge. So, first of all, double dipping. It is, and I hope I can say this right, Bod Hat Apollosa, Apollosa, Apple. I'll put the hashtag bod hat at Paolosa and shop your stash with Mad Mimi's Farming and Crochet Laura. 
this sounds like a lot of fun. So basically you shop your stash, hashtag shop your stash or your stock. And it's for this hat make along bag of day hats is all about using those one skein balls of yarn you have left over from projects or you've bought because you like the color with no real idea what you're going to make. Now she's already done week one and what it is there are going to be 52 hats beanies hats you have made by the end of the year so she nominates a pattern from bag o'day they're all crochet patterns by bag o'day and you make it that week you can send her pictures or you can just um, wait to the end of the week and post your own pictures i guess but don't forget i'll put the hashtag because i can't really pronounce it and it's shop your stash which is really important to me because i want to reduce my stash or my stock this year um, i have way too much so um, i think the first week was easy blue beanie and the next one is easy bucket hat for adult and child for this week I haven't made it either, but I will catch up pretty fast because I decided I can make beanies and donate them to charity. So you don't have to make them as gifts. You can give them away to charities. I have a grandniece in um, Western Australia who does, a, and she's only about 10 now, does a lot of work for the homeless. And I've sent her a bag of beanies before for the homeless during winter. Um, there are charities here I can donate beanies to. And... Um, Reads as if and asks for a beanie, which is really quite surprising. Um, so when I find a pattern he likes, that one will be going to him. But it is Bag O'Day Appalosa. Could be saying it wrong. Appalooza, maybe that's it. And Shop Your Stash are the two hashtags. So I'm double dipping. And it is just a challenge by Man Mimi um, Crochet and Farming Laura. The other one is I've done Zetas calendar cow for the last two years and last year I did tea cozies every month well I'm triple dipping because one of the four beanies I make each month will be done for Zeta's calendar cow so for January I think it's purples and things make sure you check out the link and I'm going to use those colors in one of the beanies and triple dip and use it for her calendar cow so yes triple dipping with some challenges now what else have I put um, the other thing is if you're not really into tutorials and you like patterns bag o day has on her it's in her Etsy shop and I'll try and put a link to that um, 40 pattern bundle of hat patterns for ten dollars ten dollars US so today's exchange rate that's seventeen dollars fifteen Australian eight dollar eight pound 35 british and nine pound uh, 946 euro so yeah i i mean that's a bargain ten ten dollars or for 40 patterns that's amazing so basically you're making four hats a month 52 from the year and you can donate them to charity or give them to friends or whatever you want but I thought that was a great idea. I remember doing Bago Day's seven hats in seven days and I sent those to my um, grandniece in Perth for the homeless and um, her mum sent a photo and said she's claiming this one. It was all rainbow colours. He said She said she won't part with it, which was cute. I rather liked that she liked it. So now remember, not all make-alongs will have prices and I like that. It's about a challenge. It's about getting you creative juices going and joining in the fun in the Yarny community and supporting other podcasters. Because like Laura's in Alaska, you've got people in the UK, more people in the USA. I haven't found anyone in Canada doing a Canada doing a make along. Not that I could probably fit any more in. But yes, don't think I'm not doing that because there's no prizes. Um, do it just for the challenge and the fun of it. And having a laugh and seeing how much of your yarn stock stash you can use it up by shopping your stash so what are there is one more so we all have scrap yarn 
right? Not a full skein, maybe a bit, maybe, a, you know, half a skein or half a ball. Well, Soxy Nana. There's my Canadian one. I knew I had one. Soxy Nana is running a year-long scrap make long. It is hashtag, let me see, Soxy Scrappy Mal 2023. So Alice Soxy Nana is encouraging you to use your scrap yarn in a project or projects and you post your pictures. And I do make a lot of scrap lap yarns, but I'm trying to be a little bit more creative. Usually they're crochet. If I make one, it might be knitted. I don't know, but I am going to use my scraps because I am a firm believer in waste not, want not and encouraging people to use everything they have and look after the planet, um, including food. Like I have a shelf in the fridge for leftovers that the boys know are there for lunches to have when they're looking for something to eat. Um, yeah, it's just a case of reducing our waste that goes to landfill and using up our yarn stock that we just let sit around for years thinking, I don't know what to do with that ball or that scrap yarn. Sometimes I have so much scrap yarn, I will bag it up into like eight ply, three weight, a separate bag for four ply, 10, 10 ply, four weight, and I'll label it and I'll take it to one of my um, crochet groups and donate it for the ladies who don't have a lot of money to spend on yarn and they make it up into lap gans and beanies for charity. And I don't waste it because it's getting used. So there you have it. They are just a very small amount of hashtag make-alongs happening this year. There are so many more. So guys, if you know of a make-along you're joining and you want to promote that make-along, leave it in the comments below. Put a link to the YouTube channel or the pattern or the Instagram group, Ravelry group, whatever you like. Put a link so other subscribers can check it out and also let me know in the comments below which is your number one favorite make along this year that you're going to do and it doesn't have to be yarn vacation because it can be anything don't think you have to you know be nice to me because i love amigurumi wars it is one of my favorites doesn't mean i don't like the others i just get all excited that I'm improving my amigurumi skills. So guys, that's it. 2023, the year of the hashtag make along. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find something to make. Until next time, stay, stay, stay safe, stay well, and have some fun crafting. Whatever craft you do. Bye for now.